production oh, wise, the next time we see him, even though this would be chronologically the first time, would be the best Star Trek series ever, Strange New Worlds. <laughs> Yeah, somebody should watch that and do a podcast about it. Somebody really should, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, well, you can find us on the internet wherever you find your podcast. Just look for Strange New Trek. <laughs> um, we get a lot of references in here. Yeah, there's several. There's at least two episodes that deal directly with the Gorn. Mm -hmm. Plus Lawn's history where they just kind of like talk about it obtusely, you know. Where Yeah, so... This is really where a large departure comes. I mean, again, we saw him in Enterprise as a a, a super aggressive um, uh, foe, but it's hard to take that at face value because they, they were in the mirror world. Um, but in Strange New Worlds, the Gorn come out of their host alien style in, what was it, three or four, sets of three and four, and the stronger ones immediately attack the weaker ones in the bunch. Yeah, now I think Tasmanian devils are one of those like super aggressive animals. I, that's actually a thing that happens in nature. Well, you know, that just further proves my point. I don't see Tasmanian devils um, rolling around spaceships. No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Give them a hundred thousand um, years, we'll see, you know, but... But yeah, Strange the World is what really put this into perspective for me. And then again, that podcast that I was listening to, but they are obviously a might makes right kind of civilization, at least what we've seen. At least uh, right at the beginning. Yeah. Now to me, the Gorn that we see in the arena is a fully grown, mature Gorn. Super slow. He might be a bit stronger. But super slow. In my mind, the younger, faster, more agile ones would take those guys out, even if they had to do it in a pack. Because the the newborn Gorns, man, they they waste no time into just tearing up everything around them. Well, <clears throat> now, so I, I got a couple things. Now you're gonna have to give me room for head cannon here because none of this is backed up by anything, right? <laughs> um, I, I was first wondering. Now, Lon says that they have breeding planets, basically, where they hatch their young and where they feed them humans, and the young just kind of wander around, wander around. I wonder if they leave those their young there for an extended period of time until they hit, like, an age that is, like, I don't know, kind of like where a human baby had hit, like, three, four, five, where they can actually start understanding things, and then go pick them up. You know, maybe they're completely animalistic until they hit a certain age. And then they're uh, civilizable, kind of, you know, like human children. Like, you couldn't take a newborn and have them drive a Ferrari. You know? <laughs> yeah, because I think at one point, Lon points out that they, to keep their civilization going, they drop their hosts off at other planets so they can do their thing there and then come back for them later. That seems like something Lon said. I'm not, I'm not 100% on that, but... So that may get around my idea that the young ones would hunt the older ones in packs, kind of like velociraptors. <laughs> yeah. Well, because, you know, my thinking is that, you know, that when they're when they're first hatched, by instinct alone, they just kill until there's, you know, I, and I hate this concept because it, it turns out to be BS, but the alpha, you know, the alpha kills all the other ones and then it's ready to go on. But I don't think maybe by the time that they're brought into society, and, you know, kind of, like, educated or whatever whatever the Gorn do with their young at this point. I don't think by that point they're probably not running around pulling the Klingon promotion on everybody. <laughs> you know, I could have just talked myself out of my own theory here. Yeah. Well, hey, that's good to do sometimes, you know. Because my whole contention was that given how we see them act in Strange Worlds, um, it was super unlikely that they would get advanced enough to space travel yeah just because of how savage they're young are but if if we're saying that they know that about their young and then drop them off at some other planet wait for them to get a little bit older and wiser and more mature i guess come back and pick them up once uh all that naked aggression is out of their system yeah maybe that's one way yeah maybe maybe that's the answer 